Is it time to buy Genius Brands International, GNUS stock? Genius Brands International stock has been a trending stock for a couple of weeks now. Back in April 2020, GNUS stock was trading as a penny stock under $1, and then it shot up over $10 per share in early June. Over 50,000 people on StockTwits are following Genius Brands stock. If you've been following my journey of growing one of my stock portfolios from zero to infinity, you already know I focus on long-term trends to build wealth in the stock market. I started depositing small amounts of money in the stock portfolio on your screen at the beginning of 2020, and the portfolio is now up to a little over 7,100 bucks. While others were selling stocks during the stock market crash, I was buying stocks. At this point, I have yet to sell any stocks in my stock portfolio since I primarily focus on long-term trends that are going on right now in the stock market. Now, the big question is, will I be buying GNUS stock to my portfolio or will I be focusing on other trends to grow my small stock account? Let's get straight to it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mr. Zero to Infinity for episode 47. If you're on the same mission of growing your stock portfolio as quick as possible like me, then click that like button and feel free to subscribe. The community has been growing along with my stock portfolio balance. Thanks to everybody supporting the channel up to this point. Before I discuss Genius Stock, remember that all my episodes are for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. My thoughts, opinions, and commentary of finding the latest trends to build wealth in the stock market will not meet your own unique goals. For that reason, always do your own research and due diligence and never rely on any of my information in any of my videos. Never buy or sell stocks based on what I'm doing with my stock portfolio. I have a different risk tolerance and time horizon than you. First, let's pull up the Genius Brand stock chart for all you traders out there that buy and sell a ticker on the screen. For anyone new, I primarily focus on long-term investments compared to trading in and out of stocks like a lot of day traders. Sure, it's exciting to see returns of over 100% in one day, but that type of day trading is too time consuming. The majority of stocks that go up and down large percentages are stocks that have a small float, also known as the number of shares actually available for trading. When there's a small float and there are a lot of buyers than sellers, you could see stocks skyrocket in a short time period. GNUS stock is a perfect example. You'll notice Genius Brands was hovering around that 25 cent price range for months and then in May the stock price started to go up considerably. Once the RSI or Relative Strength Index at the top of the chart turned green and hit over 70, the stock price was overbought and the traders started to sell the stock which resulted in GNUS stock price crashing back down to around $4 at the time of this recording. I'm sure it was quite a thrill for anyone that got in early below one buck and sold over $10 per share. That's quite a trade. The only dilemma for a lot of traders is knowing when to get in and when to get out of a stock like GNUS. With a penny stock, the stock price normally moves based on any news headlines and announcements. I looked at the financials briefly easily found on the investor relations page and the company is clearly a speculative stock also known as a high risk stock at this time especially with all the trading volume that's going on right now quick overview of genius and what the company does genius brands is a global kids media company that creates and licenses multimedia entertainment content for children remember for any new traders and investors, there's a real company behind any stock symbol you see on your Robinhood app. Whether that's a profitable company today or unprofitable company, that's for you to research yourself. I like to review the financials for any company that I have interest in investing in. This can take me hours and even days to really digest the business model and how money goes from the top line to the bottom line. Well-known celebrity Arnold Schwarzenegger is a big name and it was recently announced that he entered into an agreement to become a significant investor in Genius Brands International. He'll be starring in and co-producing the new animated children's series called Superhero Kindergarten, which was created by Stan Lee 
as one of his final projects that he was working on before he passed away. The series was picked up by Amazon Prime, which is always a good sign to see. The co-creator of Deadpool is scripting the series too, so there are definitely a lot of big names involved with this company. Other content under the Genius Brands umbrella is Cartoon Channel, a 24-hour free video on-demand children program, Rainbow Rangers, Llama Llama, Baby Genius, and even Warren Buffett's Secret Millionaires Club, just to name a few. Shouldn't that be Billionaires Club? But anyway, the CEO is Andy Hayward, who has a track record in children's programming. There are a ton of questions surrounding Genius Brands. How much revenue will be coming in for upcoming quarters? Will more and more big names be added to Genius Brands? How successful will toy and merchandise lines be for the holidays? In my opinion, it's a high risk, high reward stock. Now looking at the screenshot of my stock portfolio, do I want to add a very small cap stock like Genius Brands to the account? I currently own Fiverr stock which is around a $2 billion market cap. Apple stock is over 1 trillion, Penn stock is around 4 billion, Starbucks is around 90 billion, Costco is around 130 billion, Square stock is around 40 billion, and Shift 4 payment stock is around 3 billion at the time of this recording. Do I want to add a stock that is in the startup phase of growing its top line revenues, or do I want to continue to add cash to the portfolio and buy more stock and build my current positions at this time? Right now, I'll be sticking with my 7 holdings since I have a strong bull thesis that's been documented in previous episodes. I added large cap stocks like Apple, Starbucks, Square, and Costco because I would consider them as safe stocks or defensive stocks in the event there's another stock market crash in 2020. Now that's my opinion, remember that. My high risk, high reward stocks are Fiverr International, Penn Stock, and newly added Shift 4 payments. All three are under a $5 billion market cap at this time. In my opinion, stocks with market caps under $5 billion, especially penny stocks in the low millions, are a bit more challenging to research because a lot of times there's less information to curate compared to the bigger cap stocks. If you watched my last episode on how I find my stocks, you know that I use over 10 plus methods of spotting trends and finding the best stocks to add to my portfolio. Genius has some brand recognition within the company, but it's a company that I need to monitor and follow as the weeks and months tick by. As a volatile stock, I'm sure there will be big ups and big downs over the next few months. I'm willing to wait it out so I can review future quarterly earnings reports and conference calls to confirm the future growth potential over the next few years. You tell me, what are your thoughts on GNUS stock? Are you trading it? Are you buying it as a long-term investment? Or are you selling? Are you shorting it? Are you buying options? I'm curious to hear your opinions on what you think. As for my investment strategy, any stock price pullbacks in any of my holdings are welcome since I have a long-term time horizon and I know it will take time to accumulate the big returns. I'm in no rush and the stock portfolio is still very small at this time. Look out for a new episode covering Shift 4 Payments, which is my newest stock holding in the stock portfolio. Let's end it there. Play the music. Maybe I didn't earn your subscription with this episode, but there's always next episode. It's free to subscribe, and a couple of my favorite comments from last episode are on your screen. Feel free to watch my earlier episodes for anyone new. All my episodes are meant to be watched in order since the stock market is always changing and there are always new trends to be found as the weeks tick forward. Instagram is Mr. Zero to Infinity. Thanks again for watching. Let's keep building from zero to infinity. You got this. As always, this episode is not intended as investment advice. Do your own research prior to making any investments and do your own fact checking. Read the disclaimer on your screen fully. Remember, all opinions in this episode are mine and mine alone. I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Never rely on any of my information when making investment decisions. Peace.